Uh, I only came through Gatwick the other day, and uh, with regular monotony, I was asked for uh, uh, to see my boarding pass, including when I was uh, buying a newspaper. Uh, I had been led to believe, because obviously the work I do, I understand the security uh, regulations, and I had been led to believe uh, that this was down to uh, security issues. And as you heard in the report, there are many consumers out there, air passengers, who believe exactly the same thing. Security issues pertaining to buying a newspaper. It's, it sounds too, it sounds bizarre, doesn't it? In it's, it is bizarre, absolutely bizarre. And, and it's, it's something that I, I will confess that I've uh, questioned myself. But, you know, th there is a logic to uh, asking uh, people for boarding passes. We, as, as the report says, you do it when you go through security. And, of course, this uh, emphasis on liquids. And when you go into the duty-free and you buy that uh, bottle to take with you abroad, you imagine that the journey is being mapped. Your journey is being mapped from the minute you go through uh, check-in right the way to where you board on the aeroplane. But, of course, as today's report reveals, uh, that is very far from the actual uh, reality. But, of course, the issue isn't really about whether or not you show your boarding pass. It's more about the fact that uh, we're being charged VAT uh, when mm. some of us are going to countries outside of the EU. What should consumers be doing? Well, um, uh, consumers have been asking me all day what they should be doing. Um, uh, two issues. If you're travelling within the EU, just simply, because I'm certainly going to do is I'm just not going to show my boarding pass. If I'm travelling out of the EU, I'll be going to the United States later this year. If I'm going out of the EU, I am actually going to ask the retailer, if I'm buying anything, for a discount because I'm going to be saying very clearly to them, well, look, you know, you're making 20% off this sale. Uh, we need uh, uh, to have a bit of uh, uh, a sort of uh, cut between us uh, to make sure that the deal is fair. Um, you know, it, it simply cannot be the case that you can charge a particular figure. There's the 20% sat out there. And when the consumer has gone, off uh, uh, on their holidays elsewhere, um, they can go to the taxman and say, well, can we have that extra 20%? Thank you very much. I, I don't think it works like that in the real world. We've been doing our own survey here at Sky News of various retailers mm. asking them whether or not they pass on VAT savings. As a website, mm. would you be prepared to get your users to name and shame, almost review uh, retailers in the same way they review um, results? Do you know, uh, Darshini, it's already happening in the Twitter sphere and the blogosphere. Um, they, uh, the consumers out there don't need any encouragement from me whatsoever. Uh, but, you know, if consumers feel that they have been shortchanged or deceived in some way, then I think they're perfectly justified in naming and shaming those companies. I, I really think that the comments that have been made so far to your reporters uh, about high rents and everything else, quite frankly, is ridiculous. And um, it's a simple fact. They know how much they're going to charge consumers for the products and they've decided, uh, uh, for whatever reasons best known to themselves, uh, to carry out this practice with regard to VAT. Frank,